Hey guys, it is ChessyFan3802 here with another review video, and today is actually on something that is a little interesting, and something that probably a lot of you people haven't seen. So, first let me tell the story of the item. I went to a local hobby shop near where I live, and um, there they had an enormous amount of Atherin Blue Box uh, cars. So I was looking around and I came across one that I thought was very, very interesting and I just had to have it. So I paid for it and I got it and I'm glad I did because I'm pretty sure this is something a lot of you have not seen before. Now of course if you've read the description and the title of the video you know what it is at this point. But for those who don't, you're really going to enjoy this if you're a fan of the Western Maryland Railway. Now this might not be a completely accurate model. It might not be a very realistic model, but it is something that I guarantee a lot of you have never seen before because it is a custom-made item. So, without further ado, let's take a look at it. So here is the item out of the box, and it is a Western Maryland Rotary Snowplow. Now, this is a custom-made model of a rotary... Oh, well, it's not a custom-made rotary snowplow, but the Western Maryland scheme on it is definitely a custom-made scheme, for sure. It is absolutely beautiful-looking, and um, it is it, it just really nice. And it's really, you know, I've never seen one before. I was like, this is, this is awesome. So, um, yeah, so let's first actually take a look at the box it comes in, and then we'll get started on the locomotive. So, for you fans of model railroading, you of course know the standard Atherne box. This is of course the blue box scheme. It's got the nice steam locomotive on the front of it, as well as the Union Pacific F7 and some of the cars. On the side, of course, Atherne trains in miniature. And then here on the other side, we actually have its description. It says, Doghouse Hobbies in LaVale, Maryland, Western Maryland, Snowplow. So I believe this was a custom car by Doghouse Ho Hobbies. And to be quite honest, I know nothing of Doghouse Hobbies. So if any of you do, please tell me a little more in the comments because I'd really like to know. And uh, yeah, and it's just a great looking car. So actually, let's take a look at the car now. So here is our pretty awesome looking rotary snowplow. So uh, let's first take a look at the front of the snowplow. As you can see here on the front, um, let me straighten it. I always have a problem with that. Uh, taking a look at it, we can see the, of course, the uh, rotary section where the snow would be grinded up. And th this is actually spinnable, which is definitely very cool. I have seen some models of this where they actually have a motorized version, but I don't believe this one was ever motorized. Um, also, we have the, of course, the little snow flap up top, which is movable. I use it with my finger, probably a little easier. But this, of course, is the, well, I call it the smoke, I call it the snow exhaust. But really, this is where the snow would be shooted out of after it was grinded up in the snowplow. We also have um, some, here, we also have some windows up here, uh, where I guess people would be. And then, of course, our um, other little porthole windows on the uh, sides of the front. And, uh, yeah, that's where I guess people would be guiding along at the snowplow. The side of the snowplow is also very nice. As you can see, we have uh, more porthole windows here. Uh, we have a ladder, as you can see. Also, you can see some more detail on the rotary snowplow itself. We have the Western Maryland speed lettering logo, and it's number 63. Um, we also have more portholes going along the side, as well as a little door, and a couple more little ladder details on the bottom. This, uh, this says here, BLT748. Um, I'm not sure really what this is, but I think it has something to do with its number. And then, of course, um, HAG on the back. And, of course, more porthole windows and a back door here on the locomotive. Now, this is where the locomotive gets very interesting. Here on the back, of course, we can see the, um, the uh, ladder, as well as this, which I believe is the firebox, and I'll get to that in a minute. And then, of course, uh, some more little details here, as well as a um, coupler, which I installed myself this is actually you could either you use a hook and loop for this or a coupler um actually hang on one second i can actually show you the hook and loop piece that you could use so you could also get this little piece which is a hook and loop um so if you wanted to um hook it up and uh this i believe also this locomotive would have a tender or locomotive this snowplow would have a tender now however i mine did not come with a tender so i'm tending to think that this is um one that didn't have a tender in real life now i other ones i've seen do have a tender on them but i'm not sure if this one was one of those types that did but um still it's very neat um but yeah you can see the little 
couple down here. And this is, and this looks like a firebox door. That's why I say it. And I know there was one I was looking at on YouTube a couple days ago. Um, it was a Union Pacific. Uh, rotary snowplow had a tender on it, and that was an Atherin ready to roll version, which was pretty neat because, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you can see all that back detail on the locomotive. Um, let's actually take a look at the top here as well. So you can see here on the top, it looks like we have a uh, an exhaust stack or a smoke stack because this might have been steam powered. Looks like this is a looks like a dynamo actually. I'm not really sure what that is. Looks like some hatches here, some nice little hatches and some nice little detail, and also a roof walk going along the top of the um, snowplow as well. And uh, looks like some grab irons, what they would be anyway, grab irons on there. So yeah. So that pretty much does it for this video on the Athern um, Western Maryland Rotary Snowplow. So, like I was saying earlier, uh, this is something that I am very happy to own because I don't think there's another one like it unless there was, it, well, there probably is others like it, but I think this is a custom-made variant. So this is just really, really nice. Um, it is, whoever did it, it does really, if you take the um, actual shell off the locomotive, there's some serious craftsmanship underneath it. And um, it really it really um, warms my heart to see some people that, that make very nice products like this because this is this is very nice. Now, it might not have the detail that of a... Um, Atherin ready to roll or Genesis version may have, but definitely the, the the Western Maryland won me over because, as you know, Western Maryland is awesome and uh, it is very awesome. It's very prevalent around here, and this is just really really cool to own. Um, I might even consider installing a motor in it and getting a tender for it sometime, but for right now, I'm just happy. To, I'm I'm going to be happy uh, running this in front of one of my locomotives. I'm thinking about doing it um, or, um, around Christmas time on the fix me layout. When we set it up there, I'm going to consider actually running this on the front of do a little snowplow train. And I'm thinking about getting a train, uh, a crane and a gondola before that to make a maintenance of way train, which I think will be very nice uh, as well. So this is definitely just a really, really awesome piece. I'm very happy to have it. And uh, if you can find one, I highly recommend it because it is just, you know, it's a, it's a sickly done model. It's really nice. And uh, I just love it. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much my review of the Athern uh, Western Maryland Snowplow, custom made by Doghouse Hobbies. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and happy railroading.